What do you know and what do you not know about where China is on AI? China is going to be at the forefront of AI. Google and other tech giants have come under fire for their supposed role in maintaining election integrity. Concerns about false information, privacy, and the role of technology in elections have been addressed by Pichai and other industry executives. According to Google CEO Sundar Pichai, the rise of artificial intelligence will occur on a global scale and it is everyone's duty to provide safeguards. Bloomberg's Emily Chang questioned Pichai at the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation APEC CEO Summit in San Francisco about reaching a global agreement on smart AI regulation. As AI will proliferate and AI advances will get out to all the countries, so it's naturally the kind of technology that I don't think there's any unilateral safety to be had, according to Pichai. He claimed that if artificial intelligence, AI, were to go awry in one nation, it may affect neighboring nations and become challenging to govern domestically. Pichai remarked, In some ways, it's like climate change and the planet. We live on the same planet. That seems to apply to AI. For this reason, he continued, you have to start building the frameworks globally. Pichai stated that nations must work together to create international frameworks. He has issued warnings about this in previous months. He stated that there have been some encouraging discussions, such as the G7 summit in Japan earlier this year. Additionally, Chinese President Xi Jinping and U.S. President Joe Biden agreed to begin a conversation about artificial intelligence yesterday. AI will lead the way in China, according to Sundar Pichai, CEO of Alphabet. China would likely be at the forefront of artificial intelligence, according to Alphabet Incorporated CEO Sundar Pichai, who also stressed the importance of U.S. cooperation with China in terms of legislation and innovation. During an onstage interview with Bloomberg's Emily Chang at the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Conference in San Francisco, Pichai stated that the scope of AI work in China is just astounding to see. In some ways, China is going to be at the forefront of AI, and that's a given. Shortly after taking over as CEO of Google in 2016, Mr. Pichai announced the corporation to be AI first. He lavished money on assembling a world-class group of artificial intelligence experts whose discoveries led to improvements to Google Translate and Google Photos, among other things. Even more than electricity or fire, he prophesied, will be the impact of artificial intelligence. That's why it had to hurt that Google was left out of artificial intelligence's huge breakthrough. Rather, in November, Microsoft-backed OpenAI, a tenacious AI startup, took center stage with the release of ChatGPT, a remarkable tool that could write code, complete schoolwork, and compose poems. Millions of users flocked to ChatGPT as it quickly gained popularity, sparking a frenzy in Silicon Valley. It gave Google its most fragile and sluggish look in years. Mr. Pichai expressed his satisfaction with the technology during his first in-depth interview since ChatGPT's debut with the Times Hard Fork podcast. Mr. Pichai remarked, Whether we had done it or not, it's an exciting moment. You always wish you had done it, of course. At Google, the past few months have been crazy. Mr. Pichai insists it wasn't him, but someone in management issued a code red in December. Just after ChatGPT was released, Google co-founders Sergey Brin and Larry Page, who had previously adopted a hands-off strategy, this year the company intends to launch a number of new artificial intelligence products and integrate the technology into numerous current ones. In response to the mixed assessments that Google revealed for ChatGPT last week, he offered a direct critique, saying, I feel like we took a souped-up Civic and kind of put it in a race with more powerful cars. In response to a recent open letter from almost 2,000 researchers and technology experts, he said that businesses should hold off on developing powerful AI systems for at least six months in order to avoid profound risk to society. And has no intention of slowing down Google's artificial intelligence initiatives, he also discussed the whiplash he frequently experiences in the AI space these days, push Google and other firms to advance AI more quickly, launch more products. At the APEC meeting in San Francisco, corporate and political leaders expressed optimism about artificial intelligence. Both government representatives and tech entrepreneurs stressed the importance of strong control of the developing technology, as well as cooperation between China and the United States. Decided to start an intergovernmental conversation on artificial intelligence, AI, 
despite the two giants' competition for supremacy in the field. Viewing it as a promising development in light of the two nations' growing competition, among the tech leaders who spoke on AI during the meeting were executives from Microsoft, OpenAI, Google, and Meta. Google CEO Sundar Pichai stated at the Apex CEO Summit, My sense is that there is no way you can make progress over the long term without China and the US deeply talking to each other on something like AI. In addition, Pichai stated that if artificial intelligence AI, technology fails in one nation, it will affect all other nations. The good thing is we're still in the early days of this technology, Pichai said, so laying the foundations now will allow us to work through the tough issues and build a common framework over time. At a different session during the Apex CEO Summit, Sam Altman, CEO of OpenAI, repeated the opinion. According to Altman, a global consensus on the regulation of AI is necessary. Being regarded as a pioneer in the field of artificial intelligence, Altman embarked on a global trip this year to promote the creation of a regulatory framework for the technology. I really think the world is going to rise to the occasion and everybody wants to do the right thing," Altman stated. Executives from Microsoft also commented on the subject. In a speech, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella reported that the Asia-Pacific region is witnessing tremendous adoption of the company's artificial intelligence AI capabilities, led by businesses including United Overseas Bank in Singapore and Panasonic in Japan. Ahmed Mazari, president of Microsoft Asia, stated in an interview with Nikkei Asia that the corporation is currently only providing its AI solutions to Chinese businesses that are based outside of China. We have plans for all our products to enter the domestic China market at some point in time, he stated. Elon Musk made a noticeable omission at the conference. X, formerly known as Twitter, is owned by the CEO of SpaceX, Tesla, and a recently formed AI business named XAI. Musk canceled his appearance at the last minute to talk about AI and the future with the CEO of Salesforce. According to the event organizer, Musk was unable to attend the summit due to a schedule change. We're thankful for his offer to join the session remotely. However, it was agreed among all speakers that participation would be in person, the organizer stated in a statement. According to media accounts, Musk showed up for a banquet held in honor of Xi the previous evening, but left early after saying hello to the Chinese president. This week, the tech mogul caused a stir when he agreed with an anti-Semitic post on X in a remark, We will do whatever it takes to support your right to free speech, said Musk on social media, along with a picture of him and Xi shaking hands. We'll return with additional details and videos. Please remember to like the video if you think it is informative and helpful. Please leave your comments, subscribe to our channel, and check back for more thought-provoking videos. Until then, bye!